M0FXB, welcome back to my R node learning videos. Today we're going to load the firmware onto our Helltech version 3. This is a digital radio transceiver using the reticulum system. I am following Andy Kirby's step by step guide on his video, so I highly recommend you watch that and I will link that in the description. We're using my Helltech version 3. It's got Meshtastic on it at the moment, but I have two or three of these lying around. And we've got the 868 mega, Laura 32. We are going to need to download an app. And on the right hand side here, this is actually my Android smartphone. And we're going to be downloading the app that is called Sideband 1.2.0 APK. And if I just tap it, continue we're going to let that download in the background and then we will open it up shortly i have connected my helltech version 3 to my pc at the moment this is a case uh, with an antenna that that the system are on this website here okay our note it says unsigned io all the links will be in the description and lucky for us they have a firmware browser option I would also have a look here at this reticulum site here, lots of information. We're just gonna to touch the surface today. There is a setup guide step-by-step, step, as you can see here. I'm gonna be following Andy's video. This is what the app's gonna look like once it's up and running. Okay, but there's the setup guide and the instructions will be in the link. And another, this the, the app is actually called Sideband, which is quite cool. Uh, so another link there so here is the browser flasher <laughs> and um, the direct link for this will be in the description so you can see here product at the top we've chosen the Helltech Laura version 3 and then the the megahertz here is 868 megahertz then we have to choose the file for our firmware or choose the firmware file so we can download that by clicking this link here that says official firmware if you look here it says firmware R node firmware Helltech 32 and we want version 3 okay so be very careful choose the right one and that's going to download as you just saw then to my download folder just up there you see it looks like this there it is there and just in case my device was in the way Helltech 32 version 3 zip and that's what we've got here so we just close that for now now we'll choose choose file go to the download let's double click it hopefully that works it's it's got it there the whole it took the whole zip and then we're going to click flash now and then we need to find the correct one it's going to go device right click device manager com it's got to be 33 hasn't it i don't think i've got anything else plugged in so com 33 is what i'm going to choose let's do that again flash now com 33 connect and it says flash oh wow that was just like super quick now oh, there it goes so show you that see if you can see anything obvious that's different like so let it do its thing i'll keep it live and then just fast forward it so also while it's doing that let's move over to the app and click it, it has downloaded on my phone so i'll just tap my I'll tap my phone and then see if it'll run it uh same can't open but we'll go back to that because i have ran it and it worked very well earlier ah right okay so that i recognize that from andy kirby's video so pleased that we've got to this point and you can see what it says r node community firmware hardware failure that's exactly what we expected um and thank you to andy for his instruction so back to the app, I just swiped down a bit clear. I get all these messages from people. I'm just trying to find it and then we're gonna have another go. If we can install it. Yeah, I can see what I did. 
I downloaded the one for an iPhone. So don't do what I did. Make sure you download the APK, which is now downloading. But it's good to know that it will work on an iPhone, of course. So that's completing. Excellent. Let's tap that. Yes, that's better. And you can see it. So grab your iPhones if you want to. And then open. Excellent. And I've turned on Bluetooth. I'm allowing everything. Allow. You get this initial. And then on the right there, look. And the shutdown at the bottom is very important. You tap, just so you know. You tap these three lines top left. And then you've got all these different things and shutting down is almost like a reboot. So let's leave it there at the moment and back to the next part of this. Okay, and what's that little message I'm getting there? I don't really know what that is. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Andy did say, look at these messages and it says it's been flashed. I'm gonna click okay. So, right, it's so nice when someone else has done all the hard work. Next thing is um, is provision. So we're gonna hit provision. And again, click 33 and click connect. And it says provisioning, please wait. I mean, they are fun, these devices. The tiny, the, the satellite tracker, I did that on one of my other devices and that worked brilliant tracking satellites going you know low earth orbit satellites so there you are device has been provisioned click ok so oh the screen is now showing all of this so yeah it says laura 2.4 firmware corrupt oh no hopefully that will change once we start to um do this i think we did get the the right thing so let's go down don't forget, even if I fail, it's still showing you the process. So let's go to the next bit where it says set firmware hash. So I'm now going to hit the set firmware hash. OK, let's do the set firmware hash. COM33 again, connect. Let it do that. Firmware hash has been set. Click OK. It's really fast, actually, isn't it? So this is what I'm seeing at the moment. Version 1.74. It's quite my eyes are so bad. Um device checks passed. Hardware in it okay. TRX ready. Wow. Fun. Even if you only ever do this once, it's still fun. Okay, let's uh get on to the next bit. So next is to pair the Bluetooth on our Heltec to our phone. So Andy just pressed this button here. I want you to make sure I'm showing you the right button. The program button. You just pressed it once, this one here. So I'll quickly press that. You just pressed it once and then swipe down on our phone. Bluetooth, hold down. And we're looking for our node uh, that is there if you can look there so i'm going to tap it and if you look at the screen it's trying to pair keep trying right it's asked for a code let's put that in one five two six oh my god my eyesight is so bad i can hardly read that is that a three it is one five two six three three. So let's put that into my phone. One five two six three three. One five two. Uh, oh, where did that go? Did it time out? Oh. All right. We need to be a bit faster, but you can see the process. Did it pair or not pair? Yeah, well, I swipe down and my, as you can see on the right, my phone says it's a paired device. Okay, 
let's uh move on to the next bit so on my phone we're going to go to connectivity tap that and then we're going to scroll up and look for i mean there are other ways of connecting but we're going to go connect our node turn that on and remember you have to sort of reboot to save anything but before we reboot we're going to just close that out like so and then go to the one called hardware so we just tap it and then top one is r node tap that i'm going to put some numbers in here that andy put in so it's 867.5 here where it says megahertz so eight six seven point five where it says bandwidth it's one two five so let's delete one two five oh point oh one two five point zero and then tx is 22 pause it you know if it's in the way and then nine here where it says spreading factor is nine and then coat what's that say coding rate is five five okay so now scroll up and just turn these two sliders on click allow there's two sliders on that's good so you want to enable make sure everything's enabled then close like so with the x top right then the, hit the hashes at the top left of the phone and then shut down and then reopen and so let's see if anything happens it says starting node and oh we have a signal can you see that there's a there's a signal that's starting to go up on the left hand side so it says channel airtime 74 percent it's definitely working now so thanks very much andy we've got to this point um so very pleased so follow it step by step step take your time so it's andy says if we tap i think it was this one it so shows us our status and it says local r node on air battery no traffic but um anyway it's showing that we are online so now we're going to hit the three lines go to preferences and we're going to type in something so people know who i am so i'm going to just going to put in there if i um just delete that back I'm just going to go m0 fxb ham tech see if i can get andreas in there as well oops type that wrong can't oh my god andreas yeah and tick that out and then go back and do the reboot as well hopefully that'll come back on us so people will see that as it boots on takes a minute so now we announce ourselves to the world by hitting the wi-fi your LXMF address has been announced on all available devices. Wow, I'm out there. So now we go to announce stream, which is three lines, announce stream. And then if there's, you know, people chatting, talking, we're going to see it here at the moment. Mine's completely blank. But anyway, 
it does still say channel load so maybe I've done it a bit too soon so I think that's it for now I mean, I've got a lot to learn I'm not really getting any messages yet you've got conversations here objects devices situation map not sure if it will show me on the system let's just go like so zooming into my area seeing if it you know sees me la 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 nothing obvious there hmm but it's cold there i'm sort of around here uh, but no nothing showing yet okay and um, what else we got here connectivity private utilities reticulum status look at that uh hardware we looked at remember oh no but look we've got radio modem and serial port so uh plugins enable plugins i wonder what plugins you can en enable it's such early days there's a guide here that's good isn't it repository and then you've got sideband apparently i think it can repeat as well it can repeat shut down i think we've looked at everything and we did announce let's click some of these up here and then we'll end the video so that one announced us that's status oh yeah no active lx mf propagation nodes were found mm. okay yeah it, need, it probably needs another node set up to be right next to it i think that's why it's not really showing up anywhere but i still yeah i think you know you you know how to install it massive thanks to andy kirby give it a go have some fun hit the like hit the subscribe get my beautiful wife a coffee join my youtube channel you know you can and uh, be part of our community always learning every day and just playing techie 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 radio gadgets bye for now seven three